Today, I'm going to put your attentiveness to the test. Pay attention to every little detail, and you'll solve all the riddles yeah. in no time. Mark was walking along the river when he heard someone screaming. It was a young woman who was drowning. The guy immediately left his jacket and backpack on the ground and jumped into the water. Luckily, he was on time. When Mark pulled the woman out of the river, he saw a passerby standing next to his stuff. Unfortunately, I can't swim, but I looked after your things, the man said. Then why did you rummage in my backpack? Mark asked. How did he understand someone had opened his backpack? When he dropped the bag on the ground, the zipper was on the left side, but now it's on the right side. It was a scorching hot day when Thomas made a bet with his friends. At that time, they were chilling in the garden, drinking water and lemonade. Thomas told his friends that water produced by different companies tasted different too. You can blindfold me. I'll take a sip from two bottles of water, the one we have on the table and the one from a different producer. I saw it in the kitchen. I bet I'll be able to tell the difference. Then he did exactly that. His friends were ready to give Thomas the money he had won, but one of them cut in. You were cheating, he said. Why did he think so? It was an extremely hot day. No wonder the water had been outside for several hours, which was much warmer than the water brought from the kitchen. Someone robbed a bank in a large city. A police detective went to visit the main suspect, who had been detained several times before. I've been feeling unwell this week, and I haven't left my apartment for three days. Luckily, I didn't need food. My fridge is full. You can make sure of it yourself, the man said and opened his fridge. But the detective realized the man was lying and arrested him. How did he figure it out? First of all, that loaf of bread on the table looks fresh. Plus, if the man had been staying inside for three days already, his fridge wouldn't be so full. Mr. Black sold beautiful, rare vases. There were dozens of them on the shelves of his store. One day, the man called the police. When they arrived, the owner had his head bandaged and his store was a mess. Some guys in masks ran into my store and grabbed the money and the most expensive vases. Then they hit me on the head and I blacked out. Police officers immediately understood that Mr. Black was lying to get the insurance money. How did they figure it out? Even though most of the vases are on the floor, they aren't even cracked. But if the vases had fallen down from the shelves during the robbery, they would have been shattered. Look at these two bloggers. As you see, they both seem to be very popular. They also have the same amount of likes, but there's something wrong with one of them. She must be hiding something. What is it? The girl on the right has a fake bag. The logo on it looks like that of Chanel, but it's written Gucci underneath. Marcel was driving along a dangerous mountain road. Suddenly, he saw a man sitting on the side of the road and stopped. It turned out the man hadn't managed to control his car. It fell off the road and the man got thrown out of the window. And now, his very expensive car was beyond repair. Could you be my witness when I prepare the documents for my insurance company? The man asked Marcel. The guy agreed, but asked the man to show him what was inside the car. The man took the key out of his pocket and unlocked the damaged vehicle. I won't take part in this fraud, Marcel said. Why did he think the man was lying? If the man had been thrown out of the car, 
The key would still be in the ignition. Dylan and Susan had been happily married for 10 years. One day, Dylan went on a business trip. When he returned, Susan immediately understood that the man uh -oh. wasn't her husband. How did she figure it out? Dylan always wore his wedding ring. If you were attentive, you must have noticed it on his finger. But the man who returned to Susan didn't have the wedding ring. The police found out that a smuggler was going to leave the country through the largest airport in the city. A detective arrived there and detained three people who looked suspicious. Look at them and try to figure out who the smuggler is. It's the third passenger. His suitcase is full of totally random stuff. Women's shoes, some random socks, a pair of old dirty jeans, and even a wig. Plus, when closed, the suitcase looks much larger than when it's open. Sarah's husband, Michel, was a professional cyclist. He was about to have a challenging cycling tournament. I promise I'll bring you the bouquet they give to the winner, Michel told Sarah. Four hours later, he came back with beautiful flowers. But Sarah realized right away that Michelle hadn't won the tournament. How did she figure it out? Those flowers are actually from Sarah's garden. The same flowers are growing next to their house. Look at these people. The man is in the hospital. He's lost his memory. And these two women both claim to be his partner. One of them is obviously lying, but which one? The woman on the left is lying. If they were married, they would have wedding rings on their fingers. Now, there are these three people. One of them is lying. Who is it? Look at this woman claiming that she's pregnant. See that Adam's apple? It's a man. He can't be pregnant. Look at these people. Can you figure out who's a vampire? It's this man. See those fangs? Creepy. Which of these girls is the man's wife? It's the girl on the right. She's wearing a necklace saying Kate, and the man has a tattoo with the same name on his arm. A store security guard stopped a man who was leaving a clothing store. The sales assistant claims you've stolen a pair of expensive gloves. These are my gloves. I've had them for ages. But the security guard immediately understood the man was lying. How? The man wouldn't be able to use these gloves. They're both for the same hand. Rachel reached the final of a game show. In the last round, she could win a gold bar, but only if she managed to get it. One of the bars was in a container with boiling hot water. The jar containing the second bar was filled with strong acid. And in the third jar, there were venomous scorpions. Uh -oh. Which container should Rachel choose? The woman just needs to wait until the water in the first jar cools down and take the gold bar. Detective Adams came to a park to have lunch in the sun, but his attention was drawn by three men running around a fountain. Each of them was shouting, Thief! Catch the thief! The detective was confused. Who was the real thief? That's why he just kept watching. After some time, the distance between the men shortened. Detective Adams immediately realized who the real thief was. 
Can you figure it out too? If the third man was the thief, the second one would only have to turn around to catch him. The same goes for the second man, which means the man running the first is the criminal. If it rains at midnight, can you expect that in 72 hours it will be sunny? No way! In 72 hours it's gonna be night again! Can you crack this Rebus puzzle? That's right, it means accelerate. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.